Hello everyone, my name is Gaurav Goel, Decal Vascular Agronomist in Northeast. Today on 25th May, I have the privilege to interview Ken Weiss, who's working as Field Crops and Livestock IPM Coordinator for New York State and managing an extensive pheromone network to catch black cutworm and true armyworm moths across the state of New York for three years. I wanted to learn more on how to use the trap data to the benefit of farmers. So let's learn from experts. Ken, tell us about this network. What does it do and where is it located? The pheromone trapping network for black cutworm and true army worm are a set of traps set up strategically across the state to monitor the migration of these moths into the state from the southern part of the United States. The larvae of black cutworm and true armyworm can cause significant damage to corn across the state. The purpose of the network is to detect when and where large migrations of these moths occur in certain areas of the state. We have 25 traps for each black cutworm and true armyworm set up across the state. How can our customers best use this data that you are collecting from network? When a trap catches more than 15 moths in a week, we define that as an intense catch. When you have an intense catch, you can set a biofix date from that point on and calculate the degree days for each of the species of moths that lay their eggs in the fields and determine when larvae will be present and at what instar those larvae will be at. This is a way for growers to be able to identify in certain areas of the state when they need to go out and scout for the larvae. Each week we alert the growers to those intense catches through our New York State Integrated Pest Management Field Crops Weekly Pest Report. Anything else you want to say in closing? Without the crop consultants and the extension educators as part of this project that volunteer their time to monitor these pests, we would not have this network. So a big, huge thank you to them. Guys, hope this information helps you in managing black cutworm and true army worms that you may see in the next few weeks. The weekly pest report that Ken mentioned and some other resources are provided at the end of this video as well as in the comment section. So, Thank you for watching.